Hello, now in this video I'm going to test some coats to see how waterproof they really are. And you might wonder what this relates to. Well, it relates to actually NBC suits and CVRN suits. So the reason is when I tested that uh, West German or modern German NBC suit the other day, um, after only about 10 or 20 seconds of being put under running water, the sleeve leaked, uh, making me soaked underneath. So in an NBC scenario that would get you killed. Now I know the suit's technically expired and everything else, but rubber suits don't have that problem unless they rip. So, talking about rain clothes, because I often said, you know, rain gear would be good for NBC stuff if you can't afford an actual NBC suit or want something more comfortable. I'm going to look at the coats. So I have two Gore-Tex coats, and I expect the Gore-Tex will fail first. I have an old um, Bundeswehr sort of flecton one. I have a British Army DPM um, Gore-Tex coat. And I have what's closer to an oil skin coat, like, you know, a plasticky type raincoat. And I think that will do the best out of all of them. So, um, let me quickly show you the coats, and then we'll cut straight to running the water on them. Right, so to begin with the flecked arm coat. So, as you can see in here, this is that sort of Gore-Tex material that's designed to be breathable um, if you're wearing the coat in sort of humid conditions. Uh, but I suspect that will fail first. I think this will be the first coat to fail. I think it's the oldest of the coats. And also, when I've worn this out in the rain before, I've after being like in rain for quite a long time, it feels slightly damp on the inside of this coat. So I expect this one will fail first. Then, as you can see, this is like pretty much <coughs> a near identical British Army version of the same coat, just in DPM, not um, flecked on. Uh, but as you can see, the inside lining of the coats is almost exactly the same thing. So I imagine this coat will take a bit longer to fail, but I imagine it will still fail now. This will be the interesting thing. I've had this a while, so it's obviously not brand new and in brilliant um, condition. But, you know, it's like one of those plasticky type raincoats. And if you look at the inside of this, you'll see the material is actually a plasticky material, not um, kind of um, a softer material. So, this I'd be a lot more interested in to see if it succeeds or fails. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any to show you. Um, but you can obviously buy really heavy sort of oil skin style um, fisherman's jackets I'd call them which I think would survive no matter what but they'd probably be even thicker and heavier than actual NBC suits like the old rubber ones so let's put these to the test and see what results we get right you should be able to see a sink there so let me put the tap on and I'll stick my arm under it and when my arm actually gets wet I'll shout so hopefully you can actually see on there, uh, it's going to be quite hard at the angle, but water's running off the coat. Obviously you feel cold through the actual um, material of the coat, because this is cold water, but it's going to be when does my arm actually get cold, that will be the interesting, or wet would be the interesting thing. I think this is holding up longer than that NBC suit did yesterday, so even an old Gore-Tex coat gives you better um, waterproofing. Right, as it's not actually compromised the coat yet as far as I'm aware, I'm just going to stop the tap now and feel the inside of the sleeve. Now, I'll make sure when I get this to run off, I don't have it run off down my arm. So, there's that. Let me just feel the inside of this sleeve. Does it feel wet? Again, it feels a bit damp and clammy here. Um, so, again, if that's a nerve agent, you'd be dead. But if it's a weaker chemical weapon, you'd probably be fine. Um, so, this is the one I was expecting would be most likely to fail. Now, obviously, I've only tested the sleeve. Other parts of this coat might fail faster, but um, with the sleeve, I'm actually pretty happy how that's gone. I wasn't expecting it to, um, you know, last that long. I thought after a few seconds, the water would get through. But, no, this old Gore-Tex Flecton coat's worked. Now for the uh, DPM coat. Right, okay, now let's run the cold tap again. And get my arm in at an angle where you'll be able to see it. There we go, hopefully you can see that running off of the coat. If I pull the coat down like that, you'll hopefully see the water go over the top there. So again, I'll give a shout if um, I feel anything damp, but what might end up happening is I don't want to spray loads of water on top of the sink there. Um, 
again, if it takes too long and my arm doesn't get damp, I will actually just say the coat's succeeded. Because again, with all this stuff, you're not going to actually want to sit around in an NP, uh, you know, like a chemical cloud. You use this stuff to evacuate, which is something I have to stress over and over again because people start complaining. Oh, but if you don't evacuate, then you're going to suffocate or something like that, completely missing the point of what protective equipment's meant to do. Okay, I'm going to just say this has probably succeeded again. So let's run the water off the coat. And let me feel the inside of the sleeve. Again, it feels ever so slightly damp on the inside, but not actually wet. So I'd say that is probably a success. Um, you know, at least for what we're testing it for, because as I've said before, your chances against nerve agent or a civilian are so low anyway, it's not something I'd ever bother prepping for. But for stuff like mustard gas or lewisite, I should think this will give your skin a very good level of protection until it's eventually compromised. And obviously rain gear is very easy to decontaminate because, you know, in theory nothing should soak into it. So it should be easy to, you know, have stuff hosed off of it. Um, so there we go. I'd say this one has succeeded as well, which I wasn't expecting. But there we go. Okay, and now for the more plasticky style coat. I don't know if it's a PVC coat or whatever they use, but um, let's turn the tap on this one. Get the water running down. Now, I immediately feel a bit wetter with this, but I think that's simply because of how the material sits to the skin, but obviously I'll let the water run on for a while and then I'll check that. I think it's because, you know, you feel the cold much faster through this suit, uh, sort of coat. But, um, like I said, I'll, I'll keep the water on it for a while, just turn the flow up a little bit. And then I'll see how damp my arm is, or if it's drying afterwards. Okay, let's stop it now and see if anything's leaked through, so... Right, now let's pull my arm through and feel the inside. Now that's completely dry on the inside, again it's just that the cold, that's the issue of doing this, is because you feel the heat or cold of the water, it feels like the coat's compromised when it's not, but that's totally dry on the inside. Now. As said, if you were going to use a coat, I'd recommend a really heavy duty rain coat that you know is going to keep you dry and that is really good at fastening. The only other issue I think of the Gore-Tex coats as well is, as the Gore-Tex is meant to be breathable, does that mean that some vapours would be able to get through the material anyway? Again, I'm not well trained enough in CBR and stuff to know this, so I doubt there's actually many people that would be able to answer that properly. Um, but yeah, this is why the old rubberized NBC suits are obviously better design simply because um, stuff can't actually get through it. So there you go. Um, it turns out all these coats have kind of succeeded this test, which I wasn't expecting. Again, if I was to hang the coat up in a shower or something and spray it with the shower water for an extended period, something might get through somewhere. But compared to how quickly that um, German NBC suit failed the test the other day, um, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased with this actually. So, to answer the question in the video, it seems all the raincoats to a degree have succeeded today. Um, you know, so while they might not all be exactly suitable for improvised NBC or CBR in use, I've been uh, pleasantly surprised with the results.